And so they said, never hug someone when they're scared. No, wait. Or just don't hug me at all when I'm scared. <laughs> oh boy, I thought that was bad. <laughs> what a bad way to start a video. <laughs> all right, if you if you could guess by that terrible joke of mine. What's up, guys? Logia Master here, and today I'm gonna react to well tonight, of course. I'm trying to get back on track, so. Gotta react to more CP games. I know I said it was gonna be overrated, underrated series, but I'm wide widening it, so it's gonna be basically Friday's any CP games video. Me that includes underrated, overrated, and theories and all of that. So what I'm going to react to do to tonight is don't hug me, I'm scared. It's Father's Day. Now obviously this is gonna be a theory video by CP Games. Um, I'll leave a link to in the description to his channel below if you want to see it and You know without further ado, let's get to it go Could the last episode be on June 19th? Guys, it's not a birthday. June 19th, 2016 is Father's Day Oh my god The comments are over 8,000 Subscribers on my channel, I thought why not make the most highly requested video on my channel? Yeah, don't hug me, I'm scared. I'm yeah. gonna answer a couple of your questions and explain why the yellow guy is eating the green guy and, and the phone call too. Well, kinda. Of. First of all, I want to say I love how everyone used to call the yellow guy Manny, or at least most of everyone, but now I've started calling him Danny ever since I pointed out the D on his chest. I don't know, I just... I just find it kind of funny. In my personal opinion, to go with my theory, I don't personally believe he has an actual name. <laughs> but hey, if you're one of those people who yep. are looking to see if you can figure yep. out his name, here's another one to throw in the mix for go. you. If you go to the Don't Look Me I'm Scared liked playlist, you'll see that there has been a liked video, obviously, called Don't Hug Me I'm Scared Drawings, which features a young girl just showing the drawings she made of the characters in the show doesn't seem like a big deal, as yeah. there's quite a few videos out there like this one. Until yep. she mentions the name of the yellow guy, Dawson. Don't Hug Me I'm Scared hasn't liked many videos in that playlist, and there's many videos out there just like this one, but none ever mention the name Dawson. Even in the Dawson. description, all it says is Dawson. But I'll leave that for you guys to debate in the comments. Anyway, let's go on to some of these questions and I'm speculations intrigued. that you guys aren't too sure about on my theory on Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Okay, so one of the most commented things on my Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared videos, right. besides OMG June 19th is my birthday, is that a lot of you believe the final episode will arrive on June 19th this year. And if that's true, June 19th this year is in fact Father's Day. Just like yep. it was in 1955, which is the year I believe the puppets were meant to be kidnapped. The start of it all. So, yep. what do I think about this? Here we go. I think it's partly true. Final episode, Makes I believe, sense. will arrive on June 19th, but Father's Day is more of a coincidence than anything else. Also, a Maybe. side note, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is collaborating with Lazy Oaf on January 22nd. That's why that date has been floating around these past few days. It's not the release date of the final episode, as far as I know. Anyway, if we go back to the Kickstarter and read what they put in the description about uploading the new episodes, they said if everything goes according to plan, they'll upload a new episode every three months. The Kickstarter ended every on three June months? 19th, 2014. Hold your comments there, we'll get to that in a second. So this every three months thing would have started after June. So let's have a look. If we add the first three months, we end up in September 2014, which was supposed to be when the third episode was released. After that, we end up in December, which was supposed to be for the fourth episode. Another three months added on, we end up in March 2015, which was supposed to be when the fifth episode was released. And if we add the final three months for the sixth and final episode, we end up in, you guessed it, June. June 9th. I think it's fairly obvious to say June. which day they were June. planning on uploading it June. to. So, yeah, you yeah. were right. They were planning on releasing the final episode on June 19th. Ooh. The only difference was 
They wanted to have it all done for June 19th last year. And Father's Day last year was actually the 22nd of June. I still believe they're planning on uploading it on June 19th this year, but the Father's Day thing would probably be more of a coincidence than anything else. But I really like the yeah, fact that you probably. guys spotted this, so well done to you guys. Now back to the Kickstarter. Yes, it did end on 19th of June. Coincidence? Actually, when you're making a Kickstarter, you can choose the deadline day yourself. And they obviously chose 19th of June, as that's Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared Day. Plus, yep. episode 1 came out like four years before the Kickstarter was ever made, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moving on to the next part, a lot of people are asking me why are there computers and laptops if this world is 1955? Right, some are obviously right. getting confused at this point. As yeah, well, makes I'm trying sense to say. that people are getting what confused. What I'm trying to say is this is a metaphor for these age groups. Yep. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared represents these age groups from 1955 right. to, to, to the present day. Yeah. Let me try and put it this way. Imagine there's two bubbles. All right. One bubble is our world from 1955 to the present day. With all that technology advancing to much bigger and better things each year in those 61 years. Okay, now imagine I'm imagining. The second it. bubble represents that entire 61 years in just, uh, let's just say one day for now. As we don't actually know how much time has passed in this Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared world. So, for the sake of this example, let's just say the second bubble represents the entire 61 years in just one day. That means you could have anything that's happened in that 61 years in just that one day. The 1955 part is only there to indicate which year this all began. Which is why the kidnap video has 55 on it, because that's representing the year it all began. The year our minds were taken by the media, Roy. Interesting how I said Roy represents the media, which actually yeah. means Roy kidnapped these puppets in the first yeah. place. Notice how the yellow guy asks, why are they in my dad's house? Almost recognizing the place. Not only that, if we check a post that Becky uploaded on her Instagram, she confirms that Roy in fact has a basement. And where are the puppets in this kidnap video? Oh, to be honest, it yeah. kind of looks like a basement. Also, just something extra to fitting for the people who are asking me why are there oh mouse holes in the corner of the rooms and stuff. I believe they actually might own a pet mouse, or rat, called Ratty. As in every episode, except for the third one, there is a mouse hole in the corners of the room. And in the fifth one, there's a pet bowl with the name Ratty written on it. Just something extra, nothing really special there. Ooh. I pointed it I out in the comment section that. on one of these videos, uh, but I just thought I might as well put it in this video too. Now let's go into the two main parts you guys have been asking me to explain hmm. from the fifth episode. Yes, the bird guy receives a phone call, and every time he answers it, he wakes up in a hospital, or it cuts to a different scene. This does in fact symbolize a wake-up call. Yep. As he obviously hears the phone call, he answers it, and he wakes up. Pretty simple. The person who is calling him is obviously the red guy, as yep. he's walking away from the phone box at the end of the episode, and it's also red, the phone, so it's representing the red guy. Obviously, with the red guy now being an adult and no longer inside the media's grasp, he's trying to help the elderly get out of this situation too, as adults usually try and help the elderly the best they can, but obviously, he's too late. He tries once again in the end, except this time tries to get the child's attention, but the child barely acknowledges the phone is even ringing leaving him stuck in the media. As for the yellow guy eating the green guy, I think the closest theory is actually not my own, but YouTube explains. Ooh. Or wherever he found the theory. This particular part represents two things. One is how the media uses icons of your favourite characters in kids' shows placed on cans of food to get you to buy and eat it. And I remember it that. Also all right, all right, all right. towards the end, which is obviously uh -huh. a problem these days. Okay, I... I think that's everything, or at least most of the common questions I get asked. Some have asked me to explain the name, don't hug me, I'm scared, but I thought I'd wait till the final episode before I explained that one. I guess I've always what's wondered left that. is the predictions. I said the final episode could be a birthday party, and more and more things seem to be pointing in that direction. There is actually a spin-off show called Craig's Big Day, which was confirmed by Becky this was the TV show the puppets were gathering around to watch in episode 2. Oh, while we're actually talking about episode 2, there's a picture of the bird guy in a uniform from the army, which kind of adds to my theory of him being the elderly. Anyway, for Craig's Big Day, these are kind of short, little, weird videos. I'll link them in the description below so you can watch them. But it's mainly about a guy called Craig preparing for his big day. 
His birthday, to be exact, which, you guessed it, is on 19th of June. Also, have a guess who is directing this so-called show. Roy. Like I said before, Roy represents the media, the people in charge controlling you, just like producers, companies, and even directors. They're in control of the actors. Once again, there's nothing huge significant to these little shorts, but I thought they were kind of cool to point out. So thank you to the people who have sent me these. I probably would have never found them otherwise. Yeah. Not to mention, obviously, the teaser that kind of came out for New Year's. There was the celebrations. I mean, it could be, you know, kind of a hint to a birthday party, but uh, it was probably more of a celebration for the New Year's, but, you know, it could be two things, who knows? So, yep. for the final episode, it could be related to a birthday. But will we see the yellow guy leave the grasp of the media? It's actually unclear. Going back to the Kickstarter once more, you will actually see the four episodes to be made are actually represented with different colours. The colours actually represent what each episode is about. The third one is yellow, and yes, that episode is about the yellow guy. The fourth is red, and once again, that's about the red guy. And the fifth one that we've just seen is green, just like the green guy. But the final one is just kind of dark, and doesn't really give us any indication on what it's going to be about. Almost saying that it might not just be about the yellow guy himself. I guess that's just something we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, those are my final thoughts before the finale. If you have yeah. any theories yourself, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll always be happy to read them. Stay safe, and don't pull a pick up. Oh my. Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Hope this video wasn't too scary like a lot of people keep commenting in my other Don't Know Me I'm Scared videos. Um, oh and if you want to be cheered up, then how about going out and checking a Australian guy who likes to rant about pretty much anything he wants to. No? Well, go check out Kind Air War anyway, because he's a really funny rant channel. He, uh, really cleverly done as well. All the stuff he does, uh, he puts a lot of thought into it. And he deserves so many more subscribers than he has now. I think he has 3,000 last time I checked, which was only uh, a few days ago. And I, I really highly recommend you check him out. He's just, he's just such a All funny right, guy. I'll he do it. Actually, CP Games underrated or overrated on this channel if you haven't seen that video. Um, He's just a really funny, nice guy, and you really. It'd be cool if I could be in so one of his in one of your videos. That'd now. be awesome. And you guys, <laughs> if I could really do, really good, if I could be, thank you guys uh, for watching this video. Awesome. It really helped me out a lot, and uh, I, I know there's not really much more to add to my theory. This was mainly just kind of clearing up some of the recurring questions I seem to see all the time in my other Don't Know Games game videos. And to be honest, I wasn't even planning on making this fourth one because it was. I was mainly gonna just wait for the sixth episode, but the twenty we just hit twenty thousand subscribers, so yeah. and I had no subscriber special, so I, I just thought why not just make an extra one just to clear up some of these questions. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for all your support. It really means a lot. And check out Kind of War if you haven't already. Stay safe and don't pull a pick up. Wow. Hold on. Trying to make this so well. <clears throat> well, thoughts of my thoughts on the video. Interesting as all get out. Never saw that one coming actually. Like, I saw this and I said, hmm, maybe I should react to this instead of an underrated slash overrated video. So that's what I did. I reacted to this instead. Miss? Well, no. <laughs> Save that till next Friday. Now, I was thinking, like, watching these videos, his videos, I'm like, it'd be cool if I could do, if I could be in one of his videos, you know? You know, kind of like spruce something up. <laughs> um, CP Games, if you're watching this, like I said, 
like I'm always gonna say, you're doing good. Keep up the great work. Maybe someday, like me and you can, me and you guys can like work something out, and we can, and we can do a video together or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, but yeah. Interesting theory. Yes, I I have to agree. I'm intrigued by what's gonna happen with this sixth episode. I mean, June nineteenth. It's it's Father's Day, but. There are theories that are popping up with the. How should I say? With that one little 17, I think, I think it's like 17 clip video or something like that. 19, 17, I don't know. It was like really short. Like people were like making theories like with that red um thing that was popping up or something like that. It was like red flash that, that was seen quickly. People were theorizing that that was the red guy. So yeah, played in someone like freeze frame it, I guess. I guess it kind of looks like the red guy, but yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> But yeah, lots of interesting points were brought up into this video. Like, so I did not know that episode every three months. Of course, making episode six being the last one. Six, 19th June, which is also, I think, the sixth month. So, dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of things are being brought up. Different numbers, different things. Anyway, yeah, it doesn't matter. I can make a video myself. But yeah, the things like in their liked videos, only one of them being like it's a fan art, but it's like Dawson. Dawson. That's interesting. That don't hug me. I'm scared. Like just that video. Well, not that. Just that one. But it's like the only fan art ones. Dawson. 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 It's as if that could be his actual name. I'm sticking with that for now. Doss I'm calling him Dawson. If that's what he's revealed to be, if that's his name, then heck, <laughs> got it right. Dawson. But yeah, like I said before, I'll say it again. Great series, dude. Keep doing stuff like this. <laughs> You're gonna make it big out there, CV Games. I mean, you make really good content, and I've watched you go from 7,000 to 20,000. I've seen you. I know you're past 20,000 now, but I've seen you grow, okay? Yeah, my channel is, like, really slow growing, but you, your channel, it's grow faster than I've seen any other channel that I've been through. I mean, I've seen lots of channels go pretty fast, but the one that I, I just like to stick with this channel for a lot, and how long I've watched your channel, every time it seems to be a lot bigger, and I just know that eventually it'll get to that point where I'll make big jumps like you and I'm proud of you that you're that you've made it to 20,000 I mean it's it's hard to get to that many subscribers unless if you're like PewDiePie or something like that <laughs> then again he did have a rough start as well but yeah keep keep up the good work man Congratulations on your 20,000, and hopefully I could be in one of your videos someday. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Creeper Cat Army. I will see you later, recruits. Peace out.